What's going on, everybody? Uh, just doing a quick intro in the in the car this time. I just picked this up. Uh, I'm going to end up opening this immediately as soon as my daughter sees it. Uh, no time to go to the usual uh, setting, but uh, I just picked this one up. I've been looking, seeing this for a while. I'm, I'm pretty excited for this one, but uh, anyway, let's uh, get this one open as soon as we get home. And here he is, Bat Tech, the Bat Tech Batman. Um, fresh out the box. The back is pretty boring, but it's like the other ones. Anyway, so here he is. Now, the reason why I got this one, I just love the way he looks. I think that blue belt, the blue utility belt and the trimming of the, the Batman logo looks, it looks really good. So that's the reason why I got it. And I like the way his gauntlets look too. So let's get some closer looks at him. So you can see how, why it's called the bad tech one. So it looks really good. It's exactly why I got them. Here's the back of them. Yeah, it just just a really good looking Batman. There's so many variants of, of the Batman. I just there's too many. I wish there was more characters, but. When they came up with this one, I kept seeing this in store, and I said, if I keep seeing it, I'm going to end up getting it, because I'm not too satisfied with the one that I have. But uh, anyway, let's see what he came with. And here's what he came with. We've seen this before too many times. This, we've seen this before, but I like the color on it. It looks really good. It's a... Uh, Kind of like a nice shine to it, but uh, we've seen this plenty of times. But that's a that's a good uh, good color. Now this is new. I haven't seen this one. Um, it's like a jetpack or something like that. But it goes on its back, so that's really cool. Um, got a pretty cool color. I wanted a battering instead of this one. Um, but I mean, it's, that that green is pretty cool. But anyway, let's uh, let's put it in. His, let's assemble this. All right, so there it is. Um, I, re I never use this gun anyway. I usually give it to uh, like the bad guys or the henchmen, but uh, let them pose with it. But this this is this is nice. I mean, he is bad tech Batman, so I can see why he has that, and it does look real cool. So um, it just goes right on that little peg. So a lot of the figures have that as well. So actually, all of them just about um, have it. So you can change it up but yeah so that's what he came with and that's pretty cool but uh let's compare them to the other batmans that i do have so let's see how that works so these are the three uh spin master batmans i have uh not including the the movie batman uh, but these are the three that i do have this is my very first one that i got started with that's the you know original batman uh second was this swamp showdown one uh, this is the main one I end up using for playtime uh, with my daughter, but that's the reason why I got this one. So I kept seeing this one, and I had to get it. So I just I just love that that trimming of that the logo and the blue belt. It just looks looks different. It's very noticeable. Uh, but let me s show you something that I did notice about the three. I'm um, also it would be this one. I would use this one, but I had to put this in his shoulder joints. Uh, it's Mod Podge. I think I'm saying it right. Uh, but I had to put that stuff in there because he's just so stiff and uh, I just moved him recently. But um, it gets, he just he was just a very loose figure and I was just super disappointed in that. But um, this one did not have an issue with it. Actually, none of them had an issue uh, but this one. Uh, this one, he's even, it is, it's fairly loose. I mean, but good enough. You know, it's good. This one was just make you want to return it loose but um yeah this one but let me show you the biggest difference between um this one and these so when you do sit them down to put them inside the batmobile this one has the best sit poles so even if you try to i mean there's a good space in between his legs 
Yeah, especially if you try to sit him up all the way. Like, you can see that. His is just perfect. Perfect for sitting in a Batmobile. That's just perfect. Like, that leg gap is barely even there. This one, he's... Try to sit him like that. Look how... And then try to squeeze him together. His body goes back a bit, but... Like, he's doing sit-ups. Anyway, this is the best one. So, I mean, they all fit inside the Batmobile perfectly fine, but... Uh, it just said like a for a sitting pose. This is the best one So that's what makes me really glad I got that one uh, But yeah, so that's the biggest difference other than that. They all move the same. Uh, they just look different uh, but this is what he did come with um, It's all the same um, Now I did see the I don't know how old this figure is the bad tech Batman, but I started seeing the the red hood uh, the 12 inch one online uh, and it's, you can even purchase it now too um, but you know when it's always the 12 inch one the uh, the 4 inch is not too far along so hopefully we see that uh, sometime soon because uh, that is one of my favorite characters and I definitely want uh, the red head I'm going to be gunning for that one as soon as I see that as soon as I see uh, postings online of a 4 inch uh, red hood uh, definitely getting it so um but yeah so this is comparing the three of these batmans uh, that is my favorite one but his arms are terrible so this is the one and uh i'm gonna have to retire this this swamp Shro showdown one i have to retire him um but yeah so this is comparing all three of them so yeah um just looking forward to new figures. Um, it's been the same ones, but uh, I'm, I'm super excited uh, to see images of that 12 inch red hood. Uh, even though they could do so much, Spin Master can do so much um, with just Batman characters in general. It's like they could do at least three every season or so. Um, but there's so many. I mean, I want the works. I want the Harvey Bullock, Gordon, Alfred. I don't care. I'll take Alfred. I would. I would I would get that one seriously, um, but they could just do so much. Uh, but I will be satisfied even if they just did Red Hood and called it quits, because uh, that's definitely the figure from the Batman family that I'm missing, that I would really love to have. But honestly, if they just came out with a lot of just new ones, I would still get them. We're still missing Penguin and just Two Face, like regular, regular villains like that that we just never got yet. Uh, but I'm really excited for this line. I really love it. It's one of my favorite lines. Uh, but I just want to see some new new figures. Um, but yeah. Um, oh, speaking of new figures, I did start to see uh, Black Adam. That is from Spin Master as well. Uh, I've been seeing it around. Not sure if I'm going to get it. But I, I, I like The Rock as an actor. Um, I might end up getting it. Don't know too much about Black Adam. But just might start getting a few of those figures because i've seen a couple that i would like to have um but yeah so i might get started on those but that's it for this one and um hopefully hopefully fingers crossed uh spin master can uh throw some new figures in the lineup some new characters brand new ones but uh that's it thank you for watching and uh stay tuned for some uh, more updates and new figures